say that determine the tension in the cable BD, BD, and CD, CD, two cables. And the X, Y, Z components of the reaction at the ball socket at A. So reaction at the ball socket at A. You've got the force being applied at the center, which is 300 Newton. Interesting. We need to draw the free body diagram of the platform. Can you draw the free body diagram of this platform? Draw that and then tell me how many active reactive forces we've got. What we've got here, we've got the force being applied here. That's one force. You've got the cable, you already know is in pull. You've got another cable which is already in pull. And here you've got your, your six degree of freedom. So am I right or not? Six constraints at A. Is it right or not? Sir. I guess only forces because we have more than one support which are properly aligned. Uh, no, it doesn't say any support properly aligned. It doesn't say. Assumption is the mother of all disasters. Oh. Don't do that. Okay, sir. Sure. Okay. So, is my free, free boy diagram right that I've got three forces and six reactive forces? No, sir, the reactive forces, there won't be any reactive forces, only the reactive moments. Oh, oh, oh. think oh, what you're I, saying. Ulta, 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 yeah. uh, there won't be uh, reactive moments, but there, there, there would be reactive forces. Yes, in all yes, you're yes, right, sir. yes. Because yeah. it's a ball and socket, it can rotate in all directions. So therefore, your free boy diagram looks something like this. You got your force, cable force, and your three uh, reactive components. There's no reactive moment because the ball and socket. Once you've got your free body diagram, you know the dimensions given. Rest is easy. The only thing that you have to spend time on is this, remember. In industry, that will matter most. Get your free boy diagram right, you will be able to do all the analysis. You have to spend time on it so that you learn the art of getting your free body diagram right. 